So we're still looking at this Miniman model, but now we're looking at the lower limb. So on the thigh, and this very distinct muscle that's spiraling around either side here, that muscle is called sartorius. It's the longest muscle we have. Sartorial means tailor, because tailors used to sit cross-legged, so that's the muscle that allows you to do that. So that's sartorius. Um, that one, some of students confuse with this one that's on the medial part of the leg, this much more straight, going straight up and down, is the gracilis. So I always think gracilis is going to the groin, sartorius is kind of spiraling. Okay, underneath gracilis, really on either side, if I can get a good angle, it's kind of shadowed, here and here, these are the adductor muscles. So a pretty big set of muscles underneath. There's different types. You have adductor magnus and brevis, but we're just learning them as one entire unit. So that's going to be next to gracilis. Okay, also in this area, oops, kind of losing it here, we can see a portion of the iliopsoas muscle kind of peeking through right here. A portion of this is coming on the inside portion of the um, ilium bone. So we just see a small portion iliopsoas through here, or here it is on this side. So we have adductor muscles, iliopsoas, and sartorius. On the lateral side, this small one here, it's a short muscle, but it has a long name. It's called tensor fascia lata, or latte. It tenses this fascia that's on the side called the iliotibial band or iliotibial tract. So that's the reference point you can look to know you're looking on the lateral side, this light materials on the lateral side. So this helps um, stabilize when walking. You can kind of feel that tightening on the side there. When looking at the front of the thigh, we have the muscles of the quadriceps. So there's four of them, but this model we can only see the superficial three. So on the top, this one is rectus femoris. And you can keep in mind it's different than rectus abdominis. So here in the femur, we have rectus femoris. And then we have these large muscles on either side, the vastus muscles. So on the inside, we have vastus medialis. On the outside, we have vastus lateralis so coming through there. Again, next to the IT band or IT tract. If we look to the back, we can see the gluteus muscles. So the most superficial, we have gluteus maximus through here, helping to extend your leg. And then peeking through on top, we have gluteus medius. All right, gluteus minimus is underneath gluteus medius, so we're not learning that one in lab, but in case you were curious. On the posterior thigh, we have the three muscles that make up the hamstrings. So there's one on the lateral side, two on the medial side. So this one on the lateral side is called biceps femoris. And we had biceps brachii in the arm. Here we have biceps femoris on the lateral side. And then the two on the medial side have semi in the name. So this one that's on top is called semi tendinosus. It's kind of that tendon you can look for right there. And then spread out underneath, there's a portion here. And you can kind of see just a small sliver right here. That's the semi membranosus muscle. Okay, and some of the pictures, again, I might have tagged. There's that gracilis from this viewpoint going straight up and down. And then these larger muscles are called adductor muscles. We're using our base here. <laughs> okay. All right, so those are the thigh. Then looking at the lower leg. Okay, so the lower leg, these are named for the, some of them are named for the bones they're located next to. So you can look for the tibia. Kind of position this a little bit better. Okay, so this muscle right next to the tibia is called tibialis anterior. So the one, if you see the bone, the one right next to it is tibialis anterior. Then as we rotate this, try to hold it steady, we have this one, and these tendons are coming out to the toes. This is called extensor digitorum longus. Okay, we have an extensor digitorum in the forearm. I'll show it to you. So this one was extensor digitorum. In the leg, we're gonna have extensor digitorum longus. Leg has the longus. If we go out to the lateral side here, we're next to the fibula bone. So this is called fibularis longus through here. And then finally, on the very back, we have two muscles. Your calf muscle, the one that you're seeing, is called gastrocnemius. So both of those heads are part of gastrocnemius. Underneath, we're gonna have a muscle called the soleus. It's kind of like the relationship between brachialis and biceps brachii. You maybe didn't know a muscle was there. 
So we have gastrocnemius and then soleus, which we can actually see on either side. Kind of peeking through. Either side of this tendon here. I have you learned this one because it's a pretty common tendon. It can get injured. This is called the Achilles tendon. Refer to the Achilles heel, can be injured there. Or another name is the calcaneus tendon because it's attaching specifically to the calcaneus bone. Okay, so again on this leg we had gastrocnemius, here soleus. If we keep going the other way, we'll run into fibularis longus. If we keep rotating, the next one in between is extensor digitorum longus. And then through here is tibialis anterior. Okay, so those are the muscles on the leg.